Well, they keep setting the trap off with nothing inside. The corn's almost gone. What is that, a big old beetle eating some corn? What you doing, beetle? And we have yet another stray dog with no collar caught on our hidden camera up here at the bait site. And um, it's kind of saying like, do something. Wait till I show you this picture, I got several pictures of a new dog that I've yet to see on, seen on camera. Wait till you see it, it's crazy. Like it, and I'm hoping um, I have some video footage of it inside the camera itself. So check this out. So I got my hidden cell cam up here, right up over the bait site where we're catching everything. The stray dog came in. Wait till you, I'm gonna show you this picture in just a minute. Let me see if I can get this. Oh yeah, there's an SD card in here. So I'm gonna take the SD card out, swap it out, and see if we actually have some video of the stray dogs up here. It is getting out of control. It's like as soon as I think, well, maybe they're just randomly coming. I, I get them on camera again and again and again. It's just they're like up here all the time. Hopefully that works. Really won't know until I get back into service. Now we're gonna try it. But they're getting brave. They're coming up here. But I got, I've got, I've got an idea. We need to go check the trap down below, and I'm also gonna go across the creek and, and pull the SIM card or the SD card out from the deep woods area. I'm really curious about what's going on in that location out there. But I think I have some secret bait. I think I have some secret bait. And um, a lot of you guys, I'm getting a lot of mixed uh, comments on what to do with these dogs. To me, there seem to be more wild than just stray. Maybe at one time they got dropped off, now they've packed up, I don't know. Um, the, one I, the new one I got, now is by itself all i seen on camera anyways doesn't mean there was other ones around um, but you guys are telling me to shoot them you're telling me to trap them you're telling me to call um would you say the call of the local authorities see if there's any missing dogs none of these dogs that i could tell have collars on them, any of them but what if i put a can of o'roy with savory cuts of beef in the live trap down below because um, these dogs are traveling everywhere. And I think we're going to do that. Let's go down there. And I actually found some coyote urine that I had in here. And I'll use it as a cover scent. A lot of you guys say I need to do, do, use my cover scent better when I'm going down there. Messing with stuff. Maybe that's why I haven't caught a coyote yet. Let's go down there. Check that trap first. Hopefully we got a coyote in there. But more likely we don't have anything. We've had we've been striking out on that. And um, let's go check it. Then we're going to get the other card. Then I'm going to show you guys what's going on with these dogs it's like never ending and um i was kind of optimistic thinking man they, they're not really going to interfere with the deer hunt hopefully not maybe not probably not maybe it's like they're out here all the time now i don't know let's go down there and see if there's anything in the live trap and go from there well my coyote yarn just rolled out so i'm gonna walk back up here well, the trap is set off once again. I cannot tell if there's anything in it. Let's walk over there. I'm gonna walk up and get my urine. My Cody urine, that is. I might be making these traps too sensitive that anything that bumps them, setting them off. Definitely not a big Cody in there. But it's set off again. Anything in there? Nope, nothing. So that's the, they keep getting set off and I don't know cause there's bird feathers everywhere. Me and Hope came out here last time and found all the feathers. But it's like, is it the birds landing on top of the cage and setting them off? I don't know. Um, we'll reset that. I'm gonna throw a can of O'Roy in there. And then uh, let me go up here and get this urine. We'll set some Cody urine out. There we go. Probably all the way up here. Towards the top. There it is. 
Yep, almost to the top. Dang. Tossed the old Roy back in there. Oh, Roy, made with real beef. Hmm. There we go. Oh, it's back there now. There, got me a little cover scent, and um, I'm also gonna do something. So, I hit a squirrel earlier on accident. It's a big one. Ooh, that stinks. Man. Whew. Uh. I hit a big squirrel earlier. That urine got on my hands and it stinks. Anyways, all right, so here's a question for you guys. When you see a rabbit or a squirrel running out in the middle of the road and you're going 50, do you guys swerve to miss it or you kind of just slow down, just ease through? Hopefully it doesn't hit you. I'm the guy who slows down and ease through. My wife is the one that will jerk and hit a tree to save a squirrel. Uh, me, I just kind of ease through it. Well, that's what happened a little bit ago in this big red squirrel. Um, did not survive. I feel bad, but we're not going to let it go to waste. Big red, big red squirrel. Um, I probably could have ate it still. Well, I know I could have ate it still. Um, but, um, so I forgot, I had, in my last video, if you've seen, we're missing a camera. I'm like, where's the camera at? And I guess Hope said, is it at the creek? And I really didn't comprehend about the hidden camera, we, or about the camera we stuck on the creek, creek bank. It's there. So we're going to go check it. I'm going to switch out the SD cards, and I'm going to show you guys any cool pictures I get. Um, but we're going to set up a little coyote um, bait station without a trap. If that makes sense, I'll show you. I'll show you what we're gonna do, and it's gonna be for the dogs too. I know where the do I've got a lot of camera or a lot of pictures of these dogs at, and that's where I'm gonna stick it on the trail, on the road, and um, we're gonna see if we can get some more footage of them, and then kind of just go from there. But these dogs are out of control out here. I mean, that counts as far as I can remember. Nine different dogs on this property since we've bought it. It's crazy. But I got this set. Got some urine on it. Let's go get the camera off the creek. Then I'm going to go check the other camera and we're going to come back up top. Well, there it is. Oh, Chrissy thought it was down here. But for some reason, I just didn't comprehend she was saying at the creek. Even though she said out the creek. So I'll probably just take the whole thing. There we go. Get the whole thing now. All right, we're going to go set uh, up a little trap, you might say. A trap just to catch them on camera, not necessarily catch them. What a mess. Okay, I'm gonna walk the rest of the way on foot to check the other camera. This is where me and Hope heard um, like a pack of dogs the other day. So I got my AR-15 with me. And um, we're just going to walk up there slowly. Hopefully we don't run into anything. But I don't have a turnaround spot all the way down here yet for the Ranger. Um, so that's coming soon. I need to get back out here and work a little bit more. And um, we're going to be having a house update for you guys pretty soon too. We've been, we've been working on the house too. Just haven't been showing it yet because I'm trying to get a lot of it done before I make a video on it. So you guys can see the progress all at once. Oh, something's been rooting up down here. Check this out. This is all fresh, rooted up. Look at this. Now, whatever it is, we'll have some pictures of it. 
But look, so that's the corn, and there's bees on it. The corn with the Kool-Aid. You can see the Kool-Aid, the mineral lick, and then the regular corn. There's definitely more of the regular corn gone than the Kool-Aid corn. And you got the mineral lick, looks like they've been licking on it. So this is pretty interesting. I'll have pictures for it. As long as the, the camera's working, I'll be showing you guys that. Um, but to me, it looks like something's been rooting around over here. So the hogs, there could have been a, a, one hog that found it is rooting around. And I don't know, we'll see. We'll check the camera and find out. Yep. There's like a thousand pictures on there. So stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you what's on here. Okay, it's ready to go. Yeah, that's interesting. So my father-in-law is wanting me to do a test to see which one they ate more of. And just by looking at the piles, they definitely ate the they ate both of them, but they definitely eaten the one with no um, Kool-Aid in it more. See that? It's gonna be interesting to see what we got on our camera. So like I said, stay tuned. We're definitely gonna be showing that, all the pictures. Matter of fact, if I whatever I got right here, I'm gonna show right now. Okay, we are back up top. This is the fork in the road. That goes down to the creek that comes into the property. This is like one of the main hot spots where I get a lot of dog activity. It's coming up from the creek, I guess, and then coming down the road itself. Um, so what I am going to do is set up a little bait station. I'm gonna put the squirrel on a string, put some coyote urine out, and we just got the camera set up. Um, we'll see what comes and gets it, and uh, just kind of see if we can get a, a, um, get a, a real head count on what dogs are actually coming in and out of here this is crazy uh, so just over the last like four or five days we've already caught i think two new dogs i'm not counting all the old ones we got on camera Okay, the semi trap, more like a hidden camera trap. We just want to see what we can get on camera right here. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so we're back up here um, at the bus. I've got this trap reset. This The raccoons just keep setting it off every night. I haven't caught anything in it. They just keep setting it off. I don't know. <laughs> They're smarter than the trap, I guess. I don't know. Um, but... <clears throat> I changed the batteries out in that that was about to die and we're going to go back to the house and we're going to check all the footage um, so i can show you everything so what happened was this dog had the nerve to come up here to the bus and pee all over the trap and i caught it on my camera oh it was crazy it was, I, when i seen it, i started laughing i'm like well i've never even seen that dog out here before and it's pretty much saying hmm do something I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy. It's just marking his territory, I guess. You know, that just goes to show, like, I have no idea what's out here. When they're out here, 
where they're at unless they just come walking in front of the camera, which seems to be happening a lot lately. It's crazy. I'll show you the pictures. Hopefully I got video of it coming up right here. And it's almost like enough's enough with all these dogs. It's getting crazy. It already was crazy, but now it's getting crazier um, to actually have um, two new ones within the last four or five days on camera where we're at all the time. And um, you know, there's, I don't see any, they don't look aggressive, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, me and Hope heard them growling and barking up on the hill. Um, don't know which dogs those were. Um, but from every picture I could see, I have not, I've yet to see a collar on any of them. And I'm getting advice from you guys, things that you guys said we should do and all that. Um, one of your, one of the questions was, can they turn wild um, once they've been domesticated? And I got tons of comments saying that yes, absolutely. That happens more than none. Um, people drop their dogs off and they will join a pack. They'll, they'll come across a pack or join, make one themselves with other ones they come across and they can actually be more dangerous than a pack of coyotes. So that's the thing too, is these dogs having kids and stuff, kids normally think, oh, it's a dog, it's fine. But then when it's a wild dog, they have no, kids don't have any clue about that unless the dog's acting aggressive and all that. Um, so now we got to train the, train the girls like, hey, when you see a dog out here, don't be trying to pet it and try to get to come to you. Um, come get me and let me take care of the situation. So that's where we are at right now on the wild dog. Um, situation we got out here they just keep coming and they're coming from everywhere and anywhere i don't know and um, i really don't have a good answer on what we should do or what can we do um, to stop them um, if, if hunting season wasn't around and and we weren't going to be out here a lot i probably wouldn't mind too much it wouldn't be that big of a deal um, but with hunting season within weeks away and um, we're going to be out here a lot um, with kids I do not want stray dogs just wandering around because we don't know them. We don't know what, they, what they're capable of doing. Um, and we don't want to have to deal with that situation, put us in a situation where we have to shoot one because it's th posing a threat or whatnot. That's not something we want to do. But it's one of them things. What do you do? I don't know. I don't have a real good answer for it. And um, yeah, I don't know. But stay tuned. I'm going to show you some video and some photos. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm back at the house and I just reviewed all the video footage I got and it's pretty sad. You guys just seen it. If you guys you've made it this far, you just seen all the footage I got of the actual stray dogs himself. And it's pretty sad. That one looks pretty wormy, pretty hungry. They're so hungry, they're eating corn off the ground. They're just eating straight deer corn. That's how hungry and starving these dogs are. A part of me wants to try to catch that skinny one and get it back to health, but then I'm like, man, I don't I don't know. This is just crazy. Um so now it turns out I didn't even know those three were up there. The other two were up there. That one is the one that I got on camera down at the creek. So I think with the skinny one I haven't seen yet, that makes a total of 10 different dogs I've seen on the property. That's a lot of dogs. It's crazy. Um, I don't know what to do for them. And I, I got a feeling they're just going to keep coming back to the corn until the corn's gone. Um, I might catch that little one in the in the trap with the O'Roy. I don't know. Um, but... I just don't have an answer. What do you guys think? You guys want me to catch them? Then I'll adopt them out to one of y'all. Any of you guys want three dogs? Let me know down in the comment section and uh, we can try to get you a rescue dog there. But part of me does want to catch that one skinny one just to get it back to health. You know, it's wormy and hungry and probably, I don't know. And you know, they, they don't look, they look harmless in a video, right? <clears throat> but who knows if you actually interact with them in person. They may not have seen a person in a year. I don't know. <clears throat> the two look pretty healthy, but the one looks like it's been out on its own for a while. Um, that's just a sad ordeal. And so I got a feeling people are just, this is so, we're so rural Oklahoma. I got a feeling people are just dumping their dogs off on the dirt road and they're just banding together and, and trying to survive. That's all they're doing is just surviving. Um, they have no sort of life other than just surviving with each other. I guess it's better for them to pack up for their sake. Um, but for ours, it could be a, it could turn into a, a pretty dangerous situation. So I don't know. Like I said earlier, I just don't have an answer really what to do. But I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I do set up some of those you know, my two big live traps and see if I can't catch them and figure out what we want to do with them. Put take them to a shelter or something. I don't know. Anyone want dogs? Let me know. We'll catch them for you guys. We'll try anyways. I don't know. So. All right, but one one good thing is that come out of it is that I do know now my camera um, has video, video footage. I texted Daniel last night, asked him, hey, how do you get video footage from that Tacticam? He said, you have to pull an SD card out. So that's why I tried and it was all on there. So that makes it pretty interesting. Um, I got deer, I got some uh, video of the deer too, and a lot of video of the raccoons. I probably didn't show you much of that, um, but there's a lot of raccoons up there too, and I just have to catch one of them. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on up there in a few more weeks till deer season we'll see how it goes hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did smash that like button if you're not subscribed please subscribe we'll catch you on next one thanks for watching